folks, Peppermint Jim, Crosby Mint Farm, and uh, I'd like to introduce a good friend of ours and a longtime friend with my father, uh, also been in the mint business for quite a few years, Mr. Law, and he stopped out today to support us, and um, at this point uh, we'd like to just capture a few minutes of his history and, and what he liked about mint. Mr. Law, thank you for coming. Oh, glad to be here. <laughs> good to see you again. Good to see you. And. Uh, a lot of memories, because I, I used to meet your dad down to the coffee shop in latter years, and, and uh, acquainted, and I got acquainted with the rest of you, because I'd been gone from here a lot, and, uh, but it was always interesting, uh, when I was young, hoe and peppermint was one of the day, ways that you made your living through the summertime. I probably started in about 14 years old, something like that. When I was young, I worked for Dalhoga, which was a big mint grower, too, here in Michigan. And uh, clear up to about through, through high school. I worked for him most all the summers in Peppermint. And we used to have to cut the mint. Then we had some that was a uh, ways from where the still was, so we always had to drive a truck over there and get it loaded, and, uh, but it was a good way for a young person to make a living. People forget how hard it was up back in those days. <laughs> uh, the depression was on and you did everything you could think of to make a living. Then. So working in a peppermint when you got a little older and uh, holding peppermint you didn't make big wages, but give you you could buy your school clothes and stuff that you needed, so you could go to school. I I enjoyed it. I especially the mint. Raisin mint has a wonderful smell about it. <laughs> when you're hoeing peppermint, somebody's always talking and telling different things about their lives and how they let things go. Actually, when you're distilling peppermint, I think that's the most interesting time. But when you work with people, you know, like that, you you become friends with them, and, and a lot of the people were older, and when you're younger, you know, they, they kind of guide you along, teach you <laughs> different things you shouldn't do and like that. So it was interesting growing up working in the fields. And, Mm -hmm. And I, I was hoping that you know they could make out so they could keep the farm if they possibly could. I'm sure they, they enjoy what they're doing. Yes. <laughs> and working hard to try to save it. There's a lot of discouraging things happen as we live, on, you know, for long years. It's been here so many years, you just hate to see it just go to something else. 